Welcome to Hunt for the One Cheesesteak Edition. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Hunt for the One. I'm Jeff. And I'm Paul. And this week we have a special guest. Lydia. Lydia. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be here. It's such an honor. As soon as I saw the first episode, I was an instant fan. And I begged Paul to let me be on the show. It's true, she did. And I'm just really excited to be here. Where are we going? Uh, well, this week we're going to Del Sandro's in West Philadelphia. Yeah, I've been there before. I it was too. really good. It's actually one of my like top cheesesteak places. I easily in my top five easily, before we yeah. started. But um, you know, we're gonna see what they have and see where they rank against the ones we already went and Lydia's tagging along. Woo! Yeah, we just got here, uh, walked up. Woo! It smells amazing. It smells great. So it's Lydia's <laughs> first time, so I mean first time. it's a beautiful night too. Nice Like out. it's just gonna be good. Oh man. No doubt it's gonna be good. good now. Um, so uh I'm about to take the first bite, Delisandro's. Whiz. So delicious. <laughs> Honestly, consistent, consistency is a uh, amazing at Del Sandro's. Every time I've been here, it's been a great cheesesteak, so hyped about it. So first bite, I just got American, no onion. <laughs> Small bite, bro. Two hours later. What are you thinking? I like it. I have to kind of like let it sit in. <laughs> Clinical manager. Yeah, I feel that. Now I'm gonna take the first bite of the American. Very um, interesting. I got some some things to say about this cheesesteak. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just finished up Del Sandro's steaks, and what did you think, Paul? All right, this is what I, you know, when I said I had to say something, my first bite was filled with raw onions. Um, basically, the way I see it, when you get a uh, onions on your cheesesteak, they should be fried. fried. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's on me. I don't know. I just assumed that you get onions, they're fried. They said fried onions. So, I, I didn't notice that because on the Whiz, it was actually way harder to tell. But when I ate the American half... You could really tell like, that there were it, there were some raw onions on it. It was there. Also, the roll was too soft for me. It was like, a little soft. Like I'm not about the hard roll life. Don't get me wrong. There's but, a fine line. But it was like I was eating the like I don't even know what I could compare it to. Lydia, what were your thoughts? What were your thoughts? Though? I wasn't crazy about the cheese to steak ratio distribution, but apparently I was alone in that. I don't know. Well. Yeah, I mean, normally it is American, off on the American. The American actually had more cheese than usual on this one, so I was kind of hyped. I really like cheese. I feel like it didn't have enough. Okay. Um, she also <laughs> didn't I'm, finish I'm it. I'm working so. on it. I had a whole three fourths. Um, a whole three fourths. But yeah, oh, overall, wow. it's a pretty solid cheesesteak. Yeah, we just got done uh, Delisandro's. It's so, right behind us. Right across the street, there's this place called Chubby Steaks, and I heard that the old cook for Del Sandro's came over here apparently and he did something good with the steak. I forget who told me about it, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna, we're gonna find try out. it out first time and obviously we didn't, we didn't get filled that much from Del Sandro's. Yeah, uh, first bite of the ways of Chubbies. <laughs> we tore it off. <laughs> the rip. Wow. It's different. It's a lot different than Del Sanjay's. I think it's seasoned different. But I'll tell you what. Right, so this is the first bite from Chubby's of the American, and we're going to compare it basically right to Del Sanjay's. <laughs> okay, so okay. we just got it's, done. And honestly, if you come here, don't go to Chubby. Stick with Del Sanjay's. 100% savage. Better. Like, it's, honestly, no, don't true. waste your time. Yeah, it's true. It's, I don't know who told Joe that information, <laughs> but you can honestly get that cheesesteak at a random diner in Philadelphia. Yeah, 100%. So, um, Maybe probably a better one, actually, because that, uh, be that was be just, a little bit cheaper, but, yeah. uh, um, you know. Not worth it. So, definitely stick with Definitely sells out of those two. 